नमस्ते गुरुकुलियंस होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हेल्थी फिट एंड फाइन नाओ वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल द गुरुकुल लीलो खेडी एंड टुडे इट्स एंड द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सेकेंड चैप्टर आई वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इन द पार्ट वन द एडवेंचर ऑफ टोटो आई हैव टॉट यू वंस अपॉन ए टाइम द राइटर रस्किन बॉन्ड वेन ही वॉज इन हीज चाइल्डहुड डेज हिज ग्रैंड फादर in dehradun clear he was much fond of the animals one day when he was going out out of station so on his returning back and he had seen there was a pretty monkey very small monkey clear and he had purchased it from the tonga driver at in the exchange of rupees 5 clear and he brought it at his home as i told you the habit of the grandfather was there ki that he was much fond of the animals and he had made a mini zoo at his home in which a lot of creatures used to live clear there was a donkey nana there was a um, you know uh, other creatures just like a cat okay dog okay now the monkey the new creature and he was the new member of their family grandfather he was uh, afraid of his wife means he used to get afraid of grandmother because grandmother at a early stage she uh, never gave her consent for the new comer of any uh, animal clear but later or sooner she accepted she accepted the creature as the family member of their house so until or unless she was accepting the accepting that the monkey toto as one of their family members so at till that time it was decided by grandfather and the writer himself to hide monkey at their home and when he was hidden at home what what kind of activities had been performed by it like start throughout this book and please carry this book in your hand moments and uh, page number 7 the adventure of toto the last paragraph of it we are going to start the adventure of toto by raskin bond clear so this is the chapter the adventures not adventure adventures the adventures of toto toto ke karname clear by raskin bond so open page number 7 the last paragraph we are going to study when finally uh, means toto was brought at home and he was tied with a with a peasant okay uh, with a hook it was lying into the room okay and he was tied with the hook and after few hours when monkey okay to see the condition of monkey grand grandfather and the writer they got entered inside what happened students a few hours later when grandfather and i came back to release toto grandfather and i means the writer the writer and grandfather thought that he means the monkey toto still he was kept over there let's go to release him but we found the walls which had been covered with some ornamental paper chosen by grandfather some colorful papers were there which had been pasted on on the wall by grandfather where monkey was tied clear they had seen the condition of that wall now stood out as naked brick and plaster means it was like naked naked means opened okay means the cover had been removed for example suppose if i remove the cover what will the condition of the book in the same manner the papers the ornamental papers had been removed away the wall could be seen crystal clear made of bricks okay eete nazar aane lagi iske andar se right this was the uh, you know adventure of toto this was the activity done by the monkey right now the peg in the wall peg means the khunti clear the peg into the wall had been wrenched wrench means it had been pulled out plucked out from its socket socket means wherever it was attached with the help of a drill clear so and my school blazer means i told you the writer raskin bond he was a very small boy like you are right so he started thinking my school blazer which was hanging on the peg which had been hanging there 
was in shreds shreds means thousands of pieces means the condition of the school school court had been uh, made by the monkey in such a way that nobody could believe that this was the activity had been performed by this mischievous monkey right i wondered i surprised that grandfather would say i was thinking as expected by grand grandfather he would shout on the monkey he would say something to monkey but grandfather didn't say didn't worry my father didn't chide anything he didn't bother about it moreover he seemed pleased with toto's performance please means he got happy he got much happy on seeing the performance of toto he is clever his grandfather said grandfather he replied very clever very clever monkey very clever creature is this given time i am sure he could have tied the torn pieces of your blazer into a rope and made his escape from that window now grandfather he started admiring the monkey by calling that suppose if some more time would be given to this this monkey the thousands of pieces of your blazer he could have tied all of them and could have made a rope unko bandh kar unki rassi bana ke and he could have jumped out of the window right he could have escaped from here why very clever what a fantastic fantastic i means um, creature we are having over here his presence in house still a secret this was quite quite secret his presence means monkey was kept over there toto was now transferred into a big cage in servants quarter now this time now grandfather he started realizing that toto was not a such kind of monkey such kind of creature that could be kept into the house into the room sorry clear so there was a servant quarter right servant quarter where grandfather he had made like a mini zoo here so many creatures were living over there so grandfather he had decided to release toto there where a number of grandfather's pet lived very sociably together sociably means in the society like we are living you are living all are living clear we are talking to each other we are dealing with each other in different different aspects and so that's why he thought grandfather thought that this monkey would be friendly to the rest of all all the creatures right now for example a tortoise were there tortoise means kachua right a pair of rabbits were there a tame squirrel small squirrel was there squirrel means gilhari and for a while my pet got and a got was there bakri right but the monkey would not allow any of his companions to sleep at night monkey was so mischievous bada sharati he was so mischievous he never allowed anyone to sleep beside him to near sleep nearby him especially in the night so grandfather who had to leave dehradun next day to collect his pension in saharanpur had de decided to take him along means the grandfather the next morning he had to leave he had to leave dehradun means he had to go from dehradun and was going to saharanpur to collect his pension because he was a retired officer now this time pension is credited into your account but this is this story is of 50 60 70 years before and at that time he had to go specially to the bank maybe in the uh, office maybe some other authorityical uh, authentical offices were there where he had to collect his pension so he had to go out of station anyhow so he was going to dehradun sorry saharanpur from dehradun from dehradun to saharanpur he was going uh, decided to take him along the grandfather he thought that he means i would not leave monkey behind i would i would not leave toto behind because he knew very well he was a mischievous monkey he used to distract others right now unfortunately i could not accompany grandfather on that tree unfortunately means unluckily my grandfather he didn't take me on that trip clear my father my grandfather he had refused he no no what would you do over there just you stay back at home clear so now um he but he told me after it was but he told me what happened during the journey later on afterwards he had told me each and everything a big black canvas kit cat was provided for toto a big canvas bag canvas it is a it's a big quality uh, good quality clothes clear canvas bags are there canvas tents are there 
canvas is used for um, heavy purpose means suppose uh, some tents canopies are there made by the soldiers in a hilly area especially clear so canvas tents whenever suppose if you are uh, going on trekking on the in the hilly area clear so you are um, just uh, establishing your uh, you know tents over there so the tents are made of canvas canvas is a good quality stuff so that canvas bag very heavy bag thick bag it was prepared for toto means toto was to be kept inside clear does with some straw at the bottom straw means sukhi ghas the straw had been given on the bottom of suppose if this is a bag and i have given some straws over here and here monkey was released on the on the straw clear so and then uh, the bag was closed because became a new abode abode means the living place of the monkey this was a new living place for monkey but now the bag when the bag was closed from every corner no there was no escape for the monkey that he could run away anywhere right toto could not get his hands through the opening and the canvas was too strong for him to bite his way throughout means the grandfather he knew very well that his teeth were very strong he could bite and he could tear it he could tear anything but canvas was such kind of material stuff was there that it could not be torn with the teeth the with the bite of the monkey so he was relaxed at that time by keeping toto into the canvas bag and the bag was closed right his efforts to get out only had the effect of making the big roll about on the floor when toto was trying his level best to get out of the bag when he was jumping inside to come outside as a result what happened the result was coming the bag was jumping with his body clear and uh, in the floor or occasionally jump into the air and occasionally means in between suddenly it started jumping more and more because he was uh, putting its more more efforts from inside right an exhibition that attracted a curious crowd of onlookers on the dehradun railway platform an exhibition it was like an exhibition is pradarshini people started looking the scene had been created by the monkey itself thousands of people they started looking how the bag is jumping itself sometime rolling sometime jumping okay sometime moving in this way this side to that side what was going on they didn't know the monkey was kept inside only grandfather knew very well right so it was a um, scene of um, pla uh, platform the dehradun plat railway platform right toto remained in the bag as far as saharanpur from dehradun the train got started and the grandfather he had kept monkey in the bag along with him until saharanpur he was along with grandfather at saharanpur railway station but while grandfather was producing his ticket at the rail, rail side turn sail when grandfather on his returning back he was taking the ticket for his returning right toto suddenly poked his head out of the bag poked means he had taken suddenly he had got a way to take its head outside he was successful to bite some of the place some of the portion of the bag and suddenly it had torn widely and suddenly the head was coming out of the bag and gave the ticket collector a wide grin ticket collector was there and he was looking towards the ticket and then it gave its wide means chodi grin means smiling chodi smile wide grin it had given to the tc it started smiling towards ticket collector right the poor man was taken aback poor man means bechara bechara means the ticket collector tc and he got feared he got scared and he turned at the back side my god but with presence of mind and much to grandfather and all but he was have a presence of mind clear so he used his intellectuality and he was much annoyed annoyed means getting irritated irritated to grandfather he was much irritated to grandfather he said so you have a dog with you this is a dog you will have to pay fee for it accordingly means as per the rule that you must pay for the fare of this dog sir in vain a vain means in irritation now grandfather again he got irritation did grandfather take toto out of the bag grandfather he got irritated means is it a dog he opened the chain and took the monkey outside and then asked to prove that that was a monkey see this is a monkey this is not a dog did not qualify as a dog means but tc he did not qualify monkey as a dog he was firm on his decision ki no no sir this is a dog it means this is a dog this is not a monkey tc said or even as a quadruped means maybe some other creature toto was classified a dog by the ticket collector and 3 rupees 
was the sum handed over as his fare and three rupees had to pay three rupees were paid by the grandfather as the fare of toto right then grandfather just to get his own back took from his pocket our pet tortoise he was having a tortoise in his coat pocket he got angry grandfather got aggressive and in an aggression he took tortoise in his hand and showed it to the ticket collector and said means what about its fare what about what it's if you have taken the fare of a monkey by calling that it's a dog then tell me how much would i would i have to pay for this tortoise which is lying in my pocket then so and said what must i pay for this since you charged for all animals yes mr ticket collector since i have come to know that you are charging for all the animals this is also one of the pet animals of mine how much would i have to pay for that tell me then grandfather sorry the ticket collector looked closely at the turtles very closely he started looking towards the turtles prodded it with his prodded means he was touching he was pressing its nose okay its forehead with its four finger index finger in this way and grave father a pleased and triumphant look please means happy triumphant means suppose dominating if you are heavy on others if you are suppose two persons are quarreling they are arguing one is dominate on other the dominating smile he had shown okay triumphant matlab that i got a victory on you that's why i am smiling so that is called triumphant victory triumphant smile triumphant and pleased happily smile he had given to grandfather no charge sir it is not a dog this is not a dog i will not charge anything for it when toto was finally accepted by grandmother he was given a comfortable home in the stable and after some time grandfather he went back to his home so days after days passed away after few days the grandmother usually means she came to know that that uh, grandfather he had taken the pretty pretty monkey his name its name is toto so toto was finally accepted by the grandmother and she had given a space toto at home especially in the stable stable means where horses are kept in a stable where he had for a companion in the family donkey nana there was a family donkey gadha and his name was nana n a n a nana was kept into the private zoo of grandfather so he was having a companionship with nana on toto's first night in the stable first night was there in the stable what happened grandfather paid him a visit to see if was comfortable especially in the night before sleeping before going to bed in the grandfather he had decided to have a last look ki whether toto was okay or not he was comfortable or not to his surprise he found nana he got much surprise because he had found over there the donkey nana kept standing without apparent cause without apparent means from outer portion from outer portion no cause was there no reason was there pulling at her halter and trying to keep means very painstakingly he was pulling its body suppose somebody is giving pain to it okay and that's why it was jumping it was pulling its body trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay means it was a female donkey her is given and trying the uh, sorry nana was trying its level best in order to take its head uh, out from hay hay means sukhi ghas mein se sir nikalne ki koshish kar raha tha it was it was just like that somebody was giving pain to this donkey but what was the reason nobody could understand grandfather gave a slap across the haunches means just at the back side on the back of she uh, means back of that uh, donkey the grandfather he had given a slap in this way loudly and she jumped back and the donkey she was jerking she was jumping back side she got afraid dragging toto with her dragging means she was pulling toto from the bundle of hay sukhi ghas mein se when the neck was coming outside when she was pulling its body back she the grandfather was surprised not surprised shocked to see toto was hanging on the ears of nana right so that's he had he had fastened on to long ears means he was hanging on the long ears of of the donkey nana with his sharp little teeth sharp little teeth he was having as i have depicted with the help of the sharp little teeth he was hanging on the ears of the donkey nana toto and nana 
दे नेवर बिकेम फ्रेंड्स मेन्स दर कंडीशन वॉज जस्ट लाइक दैट की मेन्स द राइवलरी देवर हैविंग बिटवीन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान सो दैट्स वाई दे कुड नॉट लिव टूगेदर A great treat for Toto during cold winter evenings was the large bowl of warm water given him by the grandmother for his bath bath especially during the winter timings in November December January February four months were there right during those four months it was like a party it was like a celebration in the especially cold winter evenings for Toto because my grandmother means writer's grandmother she used to offer some hot water in a bowl for Toto's bath right he would cunningly test the temperature cunningly means uh, cleverly cleverly it was testing the temperature by dipping its hand into the water then gradually step into the bath then gradually naturally he was simply he was entering into the bath tub then first first one foot pehla paav and then the other one as he had seen me doing sometime he had seen toto had seen the writer many times doing the same activity when writer was entering into the bath tub until he was into the water up to his neck means up to the neck he was dipping its complete body and he was getting relaxation by dipping uh, himself into the warm water once comfortable once when he was comfortable he would take the soap in his hands or feet means he he took a soap like writer was having and started rubbing on his hand with his feet and rub himself all over on the head on his mouth on his back on his arms on his legs knees everywhere right when the water became cold again he was entering into the water after some time the temperature was increasing for the water and it got cold he would get out of water and run as quickly as he could to the kitchen fire in order to dry himself he was coming to the kitchen just nearby the gas nearby the fire in order to get his body dried right if anyone laughed at him during his performance if anybody started laughing okay he got irritated toto's feeling would be hurt it is just like that if somebody is making fun of you when you are being hurt right so he was being hurt by someone anyone someone his who was going to laugh on him he would refuse to go on him means he refused he means now my friends our friendship between you and me would be no longer right with his bathing one day toto nearly succeeded in boiling himself by like one day once he was about to boil himself completely he was about to boil means apne aap ko jalane wala tha ubalne wala tha means how it was possible what happened a large kitchen kettle had been left on the fire to boil for tea and toto means a large kitchen kettle was there and by grandmother it was kept on the fire in order to boil some water from inside finding himself with nothing better to do decided to remove the lid means when toto came over there when grandmother was not available clear in the kitchen he sim- simply removed the lid of it and he was not able to do anything better right finding the water just warm enough he dipped the hand into the water and found the water was little bit warm enough and it was quite enough the temperature was quite enough for taking a bath clear and he got in he entered into that under the fire was burning and he didn't know temperature would increase now what happened see with his head sticking out from the open kettle his head was out of the kettle but body was inside this was just fine for a while just for a while means for one minute approximately it was quite okay for him but until the water began to boil temperature was increasing of water toto then raised himself a little he was jumping clay like a, like a frog but finding it cold outside sat down once again when he was coming outside it was cold then was coming inside into the water then going outside then coming inside he continued hopping up and down jumping up and down up and down this process continued for some time until grandmother arrived and hold him and thank god the mother she the grandmother she arrived over there and she she had stopped uh, she had stopped the gas and he she had taken the monkey out of the kettle who was completely half boiled and she had taken him out of out of the the kettle right if there is a part of the brain especially devoted to mischief means if god is going to devote the part of the brain to some mischievous creature okay that part was largely developed in toto that kind of brain should be given a reward in toto because toto was really a mischievous had, had a mischievous brain really mischievous bhoshar arti right 
he was always tearing things to pieces lot of things whatever he was sometimes books clothes and other things okay he was tearing into several pieces right and but whatever one of my aunts came near him one of my aunts one day so many aunts i i had one of the aunts when she paid a visit at my home what happened he made every effort to get hold of her dress and tear a hole it means he was jumping on my aunt and just by putting its effort and he made a hole into the sari right so one day at lunch time it was a lunch time in the afternoon a large dish dish of pulao pulao means it's a dish of rice you know very well it was made by my grandmother and stood in the center of the dining table it was kept in the center of the dining table by my grandmother we entered the room to find toto stiffing himself with rice we were surprised to see toto was already present over there before our our entry and he was stiffing thusna muh mein clear he was stiffing his mouth with rice my grandmother screamed my grandmother she cried loudly and toto threw a plate towards her means in aggression toto threw a plate towards my grandmother and it was broken into many pieces right so one of my aunts rushed forward so many aunts had come at my home and one of the my aunts she came nearby toto she ran away towards toto then uh ran received a glass of water in the face and toto threw some water from the glass on the face of my aunt when grandmother grandfather arrived but when grandfather arrived into the room because my father grandfather he got aggressive because of the mischievous activities of toto he toto picked up the dish of pulao okay he picked the pulao dish and made his exit and went away through the window he jumped outside through the window right we found him in the branches of the jackfruit tree he was sitting in between the jackfruit tree the dish was still in his arms in his hands he was holding he was holding in this way clear he remained there till all afternoon means for the next 3 4 hours until evening he continued pleasantly sit sit or sitting over there right uh, eating slowly slowly through the rice means very slowly very slowly he was eating the rice in this way enjoying a lot determined he was resoluted that i want to finish each and every piece of the rice on finishing every grain right and then in order to spite in uh, in order to spite grandmother who had screamed at him he threw the dish down from the tree means when grandmother she came outside in order to tease grandmother he had thrown the dish outside the dish had been broken into several pieces right and chattered with delight and started laughing happily he got much happiness when it broke into a hundred pieces hundred pieces right obviously toto was not the sort of pet we could keep for a long this was not a pet this was not a creature that we keep it for a long lasting period even grandfather now this time grandfather he had really realized it we were not well to do we were not so much rich that we could bear with the loss and could not afford the frequent loss of frequent loss we could not bear like dishes clothes curtains wallpapers and everything had been going on in vain we could not bear with the loss because we were not quite rich right so grandfather found a tonga driver once uh, once again the grandfather he had decided he made up his mind that he would not allow uh, the monkey toto to be as a pet in his private zoo so he picked the monkey and went back to tonga driver same tonga driver and sold toto back to him only just for 3 rupees means in 2 rupees loss he had to bear with but at last he folded his hand before the monkey that this kind of pet i would never keep in my life because we cannot be we cannot be able to bear with we cannot be able to cop up with him because he really he it's a mischievous monkey so this was the experience of the writer raskin bond himself when he was in his childhood days so this is the end of the story students i hope that you might have got the story write in the question answers and if you face any problem with respect to the content of the uh, of this chapter so you can ask your concerned teacher clear on the whatsapp number in which you have been added until then take care have a nice day bye bye namaskar